hello guys today we will start with the, the pro prolog programming and uh, how to make programs in prolog programming using the concepts of prolog and uh, we'll use uh, oh, certain softwares uh, GNU prolog uh, compiler and uh, we'll, uh, we'll uh, directly come on to the programming part now so let's start with uh, the program how to uh, uh, make the sum of two, prog uh, two numbers how to compile the sum of two numbers in prolog oh yeah okay edit and uh, so okay we'll make the definition uh, which will consist of two variables and uh, then we'll write uh, then we'll uh, take another variable which is uh, for a time being right now which is uninstantiated but uh, afterwards it's uh, it will be instantiated and uh, I think now I should write uh, the right command and uh, I think uh, mm, yeah so this is my program wait for a minute let me close this okay this is my program and uh, where is my file hmm. so I'll directly run this file and the command for compiling the uh, sum.pl file uh, program is we'll directly make these uh, square braces and uh, then we'll write uh, in this way sum.pl and uh, we'll always use a period in, a, in most of our uh, sentences or statements and I think yeah it's uh, compiled successfully so we can see that uh, there are two lines uh, that are read by the compiler and uh, there is no error in this program so we'll write the definition here suppose let's say I have to add uh, 5 and uh, 10 okay yeah that's right uh, we get the output as 15 and uh, suppose that again we have to add minus 10 and okay let's say 10 we have to add minus 10 and 10 the answer should be 0 okay it's 0 okay suppose we have to add uh, uh, 10.5 comma mm, okay 10 so the answer should be yeah so uh, we can see that uh, we have made uh, the simple sum.pl uh, that is a prolog program uh, how to calculate the sum of two numbers using prolog and we have taken uh, the sum as a definition and it consists of two uninstantiated variables and uh, then we'll, uh, we, we wrote a statement which, uh, which, uh, which said that uh, there is an uninstantiated variable which will be initialized with the addition of the variables which we have passed as our parameters in the definition and finally we have uh, right uh, we have uh, written the right statement so that uh, the output is printed to the uh, console and uh, so this way i think this is uh, uh, yeah so this way we complete uh, our today's video and so guys thank you for watching and please subscribe and uh, do comment if you have any problems regarding this small and very efficient video thank you